Uh, okay, Dorian. Start my interview this day with you. Uh, we had good news. Uh, the bank has released the first EP called One Day This Pain Will Subside. Uh, was released in uh, in March uh, 4. By the way, congratulations. It's a great way to start uh, your career in the in the musical industry around the world. Uh, I want to know, Dorian, what reaction have from the critics and people uh, toward these songs that you released recently in GCP? Um, thank you, thank you for congratulations. Um, the reactions so far have been really, really good. Uh, we also had some uh, really good um, reviews for the EP. Like, for example, from Distorted Sound magazine, they gave us like eight out of ten, and they said that the the biggest flaw this EP has is uh, that it's uh, over too soon. <laughs> so I guess we are uh, we are due like a full album soon. Ah, it's be you you working now in now in one album? Two sets? Uh, yeah, we already have some new songs written. We have uh, around six songs that we are working on. I'm not saying that all the six songs are very good. <laughs> some of them are probably not very good. <laughs> but we are already writing new songs. Yeah, but you have to write songs to see like, this one is good, this one sucks, this one is better than the one before. So um, yeah, we are writing new songs and we will maybe do an album, I don't know, it's uh, a bit too early to say, but we are definitely writing new songs as we speak. Okay, very interesting answer, thank you very much. Um, I had a personal question about this, this stuff that you recently released, Dorian. All the songs okay. are good from start to finish, the five songs. Um, I want to know, perhaps you have the same comment in the social medias. You consider that the TCP is was the best way for the band to do something more economical in the in the point of production instead to release you and full length, like example. Uh, well, we we are a new band. This is our first uh, official release. We released, I think. Uh, four different singles before releasing this EP and then we wrote like five new songs and put them on the EP. So we have like nine uh, songs out. But I think that, um, yeah, at the beginning of your career, it's definitely better to release like uh, EPs or singles to kind of test the waters to see what works best for you and what the audience will react to. Because if you like do a full album when you're a new band, nobody knows you and nobody knows the, the, the band or the songs or there's no like a core audience, then you're kind of wasting both your time and your money. I always like... Um, I remember the advice that Diligent Escape Plan gave to young artists when they were young. They said like they released their first album and then they waited five years and toured for five years before releasing the second album. And when asked why they did it so, uh, they said that we waited until we had audience that was actually interested in hearing second album. So I think releasing EPs and singles is a great way to introduce yourself to, to audiences. DCP currently uh, for the people here in your country or uh, neighbor countries around Europe or perhaps around the world. Uh, I don't know th if this uh, stuff uh, is uh, currently available in physical format, it's only digital. No, we only released digital for now because it's pretty much the same points because if we if we were about to release like a physical copy of the EP, then it would cost us more. It, the logistics of it would be like complicated. And we are trying to gather new audiences and, and kind of present ourselves to the world. So at this point, we thought that uh, only digital is enough. See all the, all the good songs that you release in, in TCP. Uh, is, there, is there any label uh, that supports you to promote your proposal uh, around the world? Or currently, I is not is now the bank had a uh, no label. Uh, we actually have a publishing deal with a Croatian local label called called uh, Beton Music slash Menart, and they have been like really supportive. I mean, they are not the biggest label in the world apparently, <laughs> but um, they've done so much for us um, as much as they could do from the position that they are in. So we are really really thankful to them. But most of the work and promotion is done by ourselves. What experience had the band in the record uh, in the 
record process. It was the ideas flow in a quick way. Uh, I don't know if, if the changes in last minute uh, for change. I don't know the lyrics or change uh, for uh, from another uh, arrangement in the bass, guitar, drums, or everything was set for for enter to a studio and recording all the songs. We we are not that good. <laughs> Uh, a lot of a lot of things changed, and we did a lot of um, experimenting when writing songs. We would usually like write a song and then try out different uh, melodies, different arrangements, and different lyrics. For example, the first single that we released uh, called Indigo, uh, it actually went through a couple changes. We did uh, I think five different versions of the first verse, and we did like three different versions of a uh, chorus, and that was like both in regards with the music and with the lyrics so we we do not shy away from changing stuff to find like the best possible option for the song i mean we are like five guys and and each and every one of us like uh, knows how to write a song so we like discuss um we discuss about a lot of ideas or on how to make the song sound the best so yeah it, it's not like we are like from the start to the point we have the idea and then we just do it it's like we do a lot of experimenting to find our sound and i think that we we did a good job with it because we have like a five different songs on the ep but they all sound cohesive and they sound like one band not like five different bands uh, we note that the band produce all the stuff except you yep. know you mentioned uh, you uh, mentioned some uh, some minutes ago at uh, the track Indigo, which yeah. Joe Wanasek was in charge in the mastering of the songs. What impression do you have about the work that Joe has done in the song? The, the work he did is amazing, and he was like super quick about it, and he kind of solved all our problems in like uh, I think two days. And he was like, "So this is a, a master. Just give it a listen." And we we're like, "Fuck, this is good." <laughs> and we would uh, we would definitely work with him in the future because uh, he has like uh, tons of knowledge and and know how, and he's like a really. A really nice person to work with. It was like super easy. We, at first, we were like kind of worried if he will like the song. Will he have like uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of things to say, or or maybe his workflow is a bit different than ours. But when we started to work, it was like like this, and it was done. And it was like super easy and and super fun. Who was the contact with you uh, with with you for for working this song? Uh, it was that, that was the best part actually because our guitar player I have two guitar players and they are both like producers they have their own studios and one of them is Latko he usually enters those uh, nail the mix uh, competitions and he won a competition and you actually get a mastering with Joel Vanasek so yeah we kind of won yeah we were like okay let's give it a shot maybe maybe it's worth it and then Joel did a master for Indigo and that pretty much became our sound for the whole EP not just for that one song let's talk about the ep one day this pain will subside it's a nice name for a nice ep the people are saying mm, the music is good the stuff is good the sun sounds very good what do you say about the lyrics in this case uh, for the proposal or the sonic proposal from osha for another for the people around the world orient all the lyrics mostly deal with uh, mental health, addiction, and human condition. Um, and it sounds maybe super cliche when you when you say it like this, but we really are talking from the point of our own experience, and we are really trying to like be super raw about it and emotional, and we are really trying to uncover how to be human in in today's society because. We strongly believe that the pain that we, we've been through and we felt is, is not unique just to ourselves. I think that we all go through the same stuff. We all feel the same pain. We all feel the same longing, the same loneliness. And I think the most beautiful thing about, it's kind of weird to say it like this, but the most beautiful thing about pain is that, that it actually unifies us. It kind of makes us more... Uh, more understandable it kind of gives us better uh, insight into each other and connects us more because if we do not give in to the pain if we don't listen to the pain the pain tries to tell us that we are alone we have to figure out that we all feel the same and that we all have the same longing and that if we connect we can heal 
quick parenthesis, all the songs uh, was a personal experience that you uh, living in this moment when you uh, writing these songs? Uh, some of it, some of it, it's it's um, it's my own. Most of it, it's my own. I've I've been through like a lot of. Can I say can I say shit? <laughs> I've been through a lot of shit uh, in my life. I had some uh, runnings with with alcohol and with drugs. Also, I, I'm um, currently going to therapy and trying to resolve my depression and and other mental health stuff that I have. And in a lot of it, it's been helping me. And writing the, of these songs also helped me to kind of resolve some of those issues and, and especially finding like four other like-minded people. Um, it also helped a lot to, to kind of figure myself out and to kind of live a, a better and more happier life. So We know that the band was formed in the beginning of 2022 and releasing many singles or two singles in this case. I was never here and unkind stayed in the light. Uh, Dorian, was easy or was difficult for the band, in this case, on Ocean or another, for become very known in the local scene in Croatia? Or uh, had you uh, any feedback for another countries? I think we, we've garnered more recognition uh, internationally than locally. Most of our fans are from Germany and UK. Um, I think it's mostly because this this special this type of music of metalcore, this modern metal stuff that we do, it's kind of maybe better received there than here. Croatia is still mostly like technical death metal, death metal, and stuff like that, and we are not like super r brutal and and stuff we sing about we sing about emotions and and we sing we are not we mostly sing we have some growling but we mostly sing and um it kind of took a lot of time for the local scene to embrace us and to kind of give us a chance i think we are we are still not there quite but we are getting there so most of the recognition that the band got up until this point has been more internationally than locally it the works Or the things work well with you and for the band of course i don't know what uh, for you was the perfect uh, per the perfect idea to offer the ep for the fans the cd was a uh, normal idea put a mm -hmm. final version or this kind of, of, of stuff <laughs> uh we would we would definitely like to do a vinyl version of the ep We had a we had an idea before releasing this EP that we release this EP uh, digitally and then maybe release another EP uh, at the end of the year and then we like release a double LP vinyl kind of stuff because we do have like a lot of artwork uh, visuals type of things and we would definitely like to release a physical copy of the EP so we are not against it we just we just thought that at this point maybe it's easier and maybe better. To, to kind of just release the songs digitally and then do a physical copy later in the year. See the success that had with this EP. There's a lot of expectation that the people can say. Mm, uh, perhaps the the final months of this year or the or the next year 2025. I don't know. It's matter that the time made the right moment that you enter to a studio recording something something new no it's not too early as i said at the beginning of the interview we are already writing new songs and working on a couple of new songs and um we do not have anything like all not not, not no deadlines or anything set but we would definitely like to release something at the end of the year or maybe at the beginning of 2025 so that's definitely something to look forward to and we We already have some singles planned, like in between the the waits. So maybe we just release like a single or or two singles before we release another EP or a full length. So there will definitely be much more music throughout 2024, and then definitely in 2025 something something longer. What is next for Ocean or Another? I don't know if you have. Uh, contemplate and make uh, more promotion with TCP. I don't know if you have some concerts here, uh, here in Croatia or outside of Croatia. Uh, what did they kind of share about it? 
We are currently booking shows for the rest of the year. Okay. And for now, we have a couple of shows in Croatia that are confirmed and that we'll play both in April and in May. And then maybe uh, we get some festivals in the, in, the, in the summer. And at the end of the year, we'll probably do a small tour around Europe. But uh, we are still booking it, so there's nothing to confirm like at the moment. But if you get back in like a month, then we'll definitely have more dates for you. At, at the end of this interview, what message do you want to send for all the people that enjoyed this interview? And thank you, thank you so much for your time to your house uh, for May possible this interview. Also for my friend Davide, Davide Pulito for May possible this contact with you. Uh, our radio station that total support for you. And we're looking forward to again in the future for Geek Continuity, the history, the interesting history that Ocean or another made in the metal scene around the world. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be a part of this interview. I'm really grateful to Davide for connecting us and you're a re really good uh, and, and kind interviewer. You said so many good things uh, about us and you really made me feel welcome. And if there's something to say at the end of the interview, I would definitely like to repeat our tagline that we have as a, as a band and our tagline is become a drop in the ocean of another which means that you have to connect with another human being and then we will all heal and our lives will be better.